We are now in formula number 8 of evaluating Laplace transform problem where the formula is written as the Laplace of the product of the function t multiplied by sine omega t is equal to twice the product of omega times s divided by s square plus w square and then the quantity raised to square. Now let us try some problems to illustrate the application of this formula number 8. Say the given problem now is the Laplace of the product of 5t multiplied by sine 3t. This problem can be write down as 5 the Laplace of t sine 3t. Since 5 is a constant, we need to place 5 before the integral sign. And if you take a look at t sine 3t happens to be the same as formula number 8. t sine of omega t is equal to t sine 3t. So then therefore, omega is equal to 3. Since we now have omega is equal to 3, we are now ready to substitute the value of omega is equal to 3 here in this formula. So we have equal to, so copy the 2 here, and omega is simply 3, so multiply it by 3, and then simply copy s, and then divided by s square, and then copy the plus sign, Again, omega is equal to 3, so we need to square omega since there is a square here. So we have 3 square, and then simplifying it, so we have a uh, square here since that is being squared. So simplifying, now we have 2 times 3 times s is equal to 6s divided by s square plus 3 square is simply 9, and that is being square. Now, since there is 5 here, which is the constant, we will multiply this expression by 5. So, what will happen then, this becomes 5 multiplied by 6, and the final answer now becomes 30s divided by the quantity of s squared plus 9 raised to square. And this uh, final answer can also be written as f of s is equal to 30s divided by the quantity of s squared plus 9. 9 square. Let's try the second problem. The Laplace of the product of sine 40 multiplied by negative 2t. Again, this problem can be write down in this manner as the Laplace of negative 2t multiplied by sine 40. And it corresponds to a negative 2, the Laplace of sine 40 multiplied by t. Again, since uh, negative 2 happens to be a constant, we will multiply this by 2. And that is being placed before the, the plus symbol. And if you take a look at that, t sine 40 happens to be, uh, or it takes the form of formula number 8, which is the Laplace of t sine wt is the same as t sine 40. So then therefore, omega is equal to 4. Since we know omega is equal to 4, then therefore, substituting the value of omega is equal to 4 here, here in this formula. So we are now using the right-hand member of the equation. So we copy uh, 2, which is the multiplier, and omega is 4, so multiply it by 4, and times s divided by s square plus Omega is simply 4, so we need to square 4, so we have 4 square. And this quantity is being raised to square, so we need to square this quantity also. And simplifying now, so we have uh, 2 times 4 times s, so we have uh, 8s divided by s square plus 4 by 4, so we have positive 16, and that is being raised to square. Now we will multiply this uh, expression by this uh, multiplier which is negative 2. So multiplying it by negative 2, so what will happen then, this becomes uh, 2, negative 2 times 8, so we have negative 16s divided by the quantity of s square plus 16 raised to the square. And the problem or the final answer can now be written also as f of s equal to negative 16s divided by of the quantity of s square plus 16 raised to the square. Now let us try some more problem to uh, illustrate the application of formula number 8. But this time we will now we will not acknowledge the uh, the longhand method 
wherein we need to uh, get the uh, solution. So by this time, if we are given a problem, let's say the given problem 80 sin 5t, the Laplace of t sin 12t, and the last we have sin 2t, we will solve this problem directly without writing the solution. What we will do then is simply follow this formula. If we take a look at the numerator, the numerator in the given answer should always multiply by 2. Since there is a constant in problem number 3, 8 and 5, 1 and 12, 2 and negative 6, we will multiply it by 2 to get the numerator of the final answer. And then the denominator should be s squared plus the square of omega. Omega in problem number 3 is simply 5. In problem number 4 is 12. In problem number 5 is 2. And then square it. And then the whole quantity should be square. And that's it. That is the answer in the uh, denominator. So let us do it. So we have 5 times 8, 40 times 2. So that is 80 S. Just simply copy S. Divided by square s square or copy s square copy the plus sign and w just simply square w happens to be 5 square the 5 and that becomes 25 and then simply square it square it so then therefore this would be the final answer for problem number 3 for number 4 so we have 1 which is coefficient of t multiplied by 12 times 2 so we have uh, 24, 24 s, you simply copy s, divided by s square plus w or omega is simply 12, then square 12, 12 times 12, so that becomes 144. Since there is a square here, square this quantity, so what will happen, this, this, this now become the final answer for number 4. And for problem number 5, so we have negative 6 times 2, so that is negative 12 times 2, so that is negative 24 s divided by copy s square and then copy the plus sign and w is simply 2 here, then square 2 that becomes 4. And then that is being square, so this would be the final answer for number 5.